to tell y'all how nothing goes as planned. Last night, after I finished cleaning my room or whatever, I never got a chance to cook. So that's why I'm in my kitchen right now trying to talk to y'all. But nothing never goes as planned. So last night, my plans was to get up when the sun hit my face and go for a daily walk. Then my plan was to come back home and cook. Right? Right. It's like almost 2 o'clock. And I ain't did nothing. Just not get in the kitchen to cook. Didn't wake up to about... Whew, I don't know. What time I got up today? Like 11 o'clock? Yeah, you were late. Yeah, and then I, I thought... I had brought turkey wings yesterday and I told the kids to put it in the refrigerator because I was going to cook it today. But of course, they put it in the freezer and I'm just so not realizing, food. I'm just not realizing that. So I had to go back out and go get some more turkey wings so I can cook. So for today's dinner, they're going to have turkey wings. Um... I'm gonna cook this all. Kid over here playing with my wig, y'all. <laughs> but I'm gonna do baked turkey wings, seafood mac and cheese, wet lobster. I'm a pretty girl. Let me see. <laughs> I'm gonna see. Y'all, Kita got this wig on. I might just put it on her head. <laughs> Oh, Man, I might just do it. He's ain't no Rocky. <laughs> Bad bitch. Bitch, All right, get this. Get this video. Ah! Get it, it is cute. Oh, I want to show y'all so bad. But no, I need y'all to get this video to 1K likes. Y'all really need to get me in the algorithm for real, for real. Bad bitch. 50 blood ears. <laughs> Look. Do no. it, Kita. <laughs> I'm gonna do Why? that TikTok. Tell them they gotta see it. watch my TikTok. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> you should do it like that, and then I'm gonna do it like really put that wig on you. Oh, y'all have to see Kita. It's so cute on her. <laughs> and I had to ask her to step. In, I ain't even gonna in, let them see. Don't let them see me. To step in her feminine side. Oh, I, I really. Girl, for real, bro. I really be wanting her to be in her. I gotta put my grill in though. You know, I gotta be a good chick. Her feminine side, but she. I'm a nigga. She really. I'm a nigga. But yeah, y'all get this video to 1K like, and I'm gonna do a whole transformation on TV now. <laughs> a new updated version, honey. Cause I did one before, but no. This one gonna go. Like, this one gonna go. And I forgot to tell y'all what else I was cooking. What I said. Take when you seafood mac and cheese with lobster meat. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of a pot of rice, cabbage. I got red or well, purple cabbage and green cabbage. I'm gonna mix that together. That purple cabbage better be good. It better be. I don't know. I'm trying something, but um, but yeah, and honey biscuits. So that's what's on the dinner. I got to be a good on the dinner menu you for today. All right. I'm going to just show y'all clips because I, y'all, my phone storage is running low, which that's why I need to just start that blocking off my camera because what do I got it for? It's just sitting collecting dust. All right. Let me clean off my turkey wings and I'll show y'all the seasoning process. My turkey wings is seasoned to perfection, honey. And I got some um, green bell peppers and onions up under my turkey wings as well. <sighs> then over here in my crock pot, honey, I got me some <clears throat> a smoked turkey seasoned to perfection as well. Because I want me some peanuts. in the kitchen. I done did my face and everything because I'm going to do a TikTok with Peter and I ain't want to get on TikTok looking any kind of way so I did me a quick little beat with a little heart right there y'all. I think that was so cute. But what the hell I'm looking for? 
Yes, I use imitation crab meat. I feel like real crab meat get too mushy, so I would not put that inside of my, my mac and cheese. And my nose itchy, real itchy. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. But, um, yeah, I'm about to start on my seafood mac and cheese. My turkey wings is pretty much done. I had to stop to go get CJ. Had to do my makeup, so still got to cut up my cabbage. <sighs> yeah, it's a lot. I don't even think I'm going to do any rice. I got me some shrimp, some jumbo shrimp, already filled in the vine. And I got me two lobster tails. I got me two lobster tails because that's going inside my seafood mac and cheese. So let me. Oh, my nose just keep itching real bad, but y'all get into the face, honey. Your girl really be beating her face though. But let me put my noodles. some chicken bouillon in my cheese lobster shrimp crab meat the lobster on top like right there it's a piece right there no yo yeah, where's the lobster at? right here all of that this is lobster cabbage My peanuts over here still cooking. Mm. And mm. 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 what's in the oven? My turkey wings in another pan of macaroni and cheese. All right, y'all. Dinner is done. So we have our cabbage with bacon and sausage, sauteed bacon, sausage, and onions, seafood, mac and cheese. Just get just just get into it, honey. This is another pan of seafood mac and cheese. I have my turkey wings. Me some boiled peanuts with turkey neck. And then the honey biscuits in the oven. The quality on this camera do not give what it needs to give. So that's why I don't like vlogging on it. But I'm on the camera today. And I'm heading... I'm heading to the gym because your girl needs to get back active. I really been procrastinating and I need girl. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today is uh February 5th, 6th, I believe. One of them days. Not sure. Don't ask me why my I was talking to Tasheen. That's why my phone was right here. My titty. Why I was putting on my waist trainer. But I'm about to go down here to the office and use the gym in there. Since it's just going to be me in there by myself. So I can do what I want, when I want, how I want. But no, I'm going to go down there to the gym, you guys. Uh -huh. And this is what I got on. Trying to get my figure right. Like, I'm just trying to get fine. Before I move. So when I move. 
No, it's not quite right all the way. But I see y'all in the gym, y'all. What's happening to me? In the dark, can you tell me what it means? I lay my head on my pillow, staring out the window. Trying to stop for a sign. It's the reason why. in my notebook, checking how my hair and my nails look, I feel myself in the zone, and nervous when you go, so I say I'm not home, see your face like you're my favorite song, should I send an email at home, you're the number one topic on the phone, I wonder if you know, do you have a clue, I lay my head on my pillow, and you got me staring out the window, we were sure the stars are assigned, what's the reason why? I just burnt 199 calories and I walked a mile point six at 20 minutes and 35 seconds. And I'm motherfucking tired. No, because I haven't, let me take this off my ear. Because I haven't worked out in so long. Whew, I haven't been in a gym in forever. So whew, I just wanted to push myself because I was ready to give up five minutes in. But I told myself, I'm not gonna quit. I'm gonna at least walk a mile. So I did that. I stayed true to myself. So now I'm gonna hit another machine because your girl is most of the time. And I'm gonna come. I'm coming back tomorrow too for the rest of the week. Cause I really been slacking you guys, and I gotta get. I gotta get on my shit. So. Whew. Pretty, 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 please. No, 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 oh, I look so bright, y'all, but I made it home. I'm about to, I just got, got in, too. But, Keita want to do some content on TikTok, so I'm about to do something to my face real quick. Girl, lies, you just was saying, we need to do that one. <laughs> so, I'll check back in with you guys once I do my makeup. I don't know what, what I'm going for. Dang, you want the rest of your little lemonade? You can drink it. Oh, and then I'm gonna, I got some steaks in there. So then why you ask me? Because it's just like sitting there. Mm. I'm just gonna fix my little mac if you're gonna cook these steaks. Yeah, I'm gonna cook those steaks. Right, Do exactly. some um, steak and eggs. It's 12 Ooh. 11. So brunch. Mm. Medium rare meat, please. I know what I want to talk to y'all about. Do y'all be tuned in to Nick and Carla reaction um, channel with this Grams and OGYs fiasco they got going on? That shit is so fucking funny to me, you guys. So, I'm the type of person, I like to mind my business. I really don't like to speak on people's relationship or what people got going on in their life because I be having a lot going on my damn self. So I'd rather just keep my little two cents to myself. But the way Nick and Carla just served OGYs up on their channel like that. Hold on. Let 
Let me, um, let me put it this way. Cause I don't need y'all looking at my camera. All right, could be a little better. Still bright, but yeah. But anywho, so if y'all guys don't watch or haven't watched uh, Nick and Carla's reaction channel, basically they do commentary and they just speak on the things that people put on the internet. And I don't really see nothing wrong with it because sometimes it can be entertaining, but it, it just depends on, I don't follow or I don't know like a lot of, I guess like people in this YouTube world, like couples that be going through it. Like Tay and Lou, I probably watched their channel a few times. She did a reaction to them, I guess they break up or whatever. But basically, if you go public with whatever you got going on, that's what they speak on. And I guess at the time they was doing like Lena and Grams, and I love me some Lena, y'all. So that's my source. And I totally get the whole situation or whatever what her and Grams had going on. And me, honestly speaking, Grams be doing too much. And I'm not saying that because I like Lily or anything like that, but she do. Just like I just peep like. The shit she would post on YouTube far as basically trying to like slander other people's name but not holding herself accountable for her actions too. Like her last girlfriend, Ari, like you gonna say something about R. Kelly, some some shit the girl confided in her about and then she goes to blast the shit on the internet. That's fucked up, but then try to send a cease and desist letter to um Nick and Carla for them calling her out on her bullshit. So, anywho, OG Wise is someone, I guess, who Graham's cool with or whatever the case may be. So, y'all just got to watch the reaction, her, they reaction to that whole situation. Basically, OG Wise is a fan like definitely giving fan behavior it's i don't know what it is about nick and carla that she don't like or but honey she been coming for them for years <clears throat> and that's crazy and she ended up basically making her own youtube channel to just talk about people who i guess do commentary because it wasn't just nick and carla she did king's corner too <sighs> y'all the internet can be very crucial and that's why I try to stay far away from it and I don't be wanting no parts of that because yeah like it can be draining you know getting on the oh. internet constantly somebody bashing your name just for whatever reason they own little theory they have in their head about you you know but I rather Nick and Carla I rather y'all go to their channel to really get the scoop on it because it's it's crazy how the lady OG wise just bash them for their like telling them to go suck dick or go just like she just was really bashing Nick Carla and OG not OG wise in King's Corner about their sexuality or whatever the case may be and this lady was a whole film her damn self I guess either married with kids or whatever. I don't know. I really didn't tune. Like, I ain't going on her page to be nosy. I've never even watched none of her reaction videos. But I would see Grams sharing it. Like, telling people to go watch it. But I would just scroll right past it. Because I really don't. It's like, we're too old for that shit. And then it's like, y'all. Y'all put y'all business out on the internet. Then when people talk about it, it's a problem. Like, that's, that's crazy to me. That's like, why post something or post that type of business on the internet or on social media period and then when other people like myself on the outside looking in and we have our little two cents it's a problem you know people be weird but i don't never really give my two cents especially not on the internet because i really don't be giving a damn i be having a lot more in my world to be focused on somebody else's 
About damn time. I totally forgot. Mm -hmm. She just not bringing me some peanuts. I've been asked her to bring me some peanuts. But You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, okay. I already moisture up my face. I do not like the lighting on this um on this camera right here. I really don't. It's it's not giving. Let's see what this quality on my phone is gonna give the quality that I'm looking for. Let's see. It's giving the quality that I need right here. And I'm gonna side by side this and y'all gonna see exactly what it is that I'm talking about. But I'm gonna finish on my camera though because I need to make memory and I need to edit what's on this phone already. But I probably won't even, you know what? I don't know how, yeah, I don't know how to work this camera. Oh Lord. Like, why would you zoom in on me like that? Let me turn one of these lights off. Let me do that. I guess it's gonna have to do. But Kita brought me some boiled peanuts, and I'm over here trying to fuck them up. Yeah. I'm trying to eat these peanuts and do my makeup at the same time. That ain't gonna work. Let me hurry up. Hey, why are you whining? Where you at? Alright. That's so good, y'all. Let's get into this makeup though. Alright. I'm a lear. on my lid. I think I just want to do like a, a subtle look, a little basic. Yeah, I don't want no color. I'm going to just do a natural look. look. And I, like, I be trying to get my thoughts together on like what I be want to talk to y'all about. And honestly, it be a lot of stuff that I be want to talk to y'all about, like friends, like my ex. And I be wanting y'all to ask me questions and stuff so I can answer them because I feel like that's the only way I can, like, express myself. Sometimes I get stuck trying to talk to myself or talk to y'all rather. It's like nothing else don't want to come out because I'm not holding a full conversation with someone. It's like I'm basically talking to myself. <coughs> Excuse me. And a lot of times I just end up getting quiet because it's like, what do I say, you know? But I want to speak on like friendships and basically why I am the way I am. Because I done been burnt by a lot of friends, so-called. I ain't gonna say like a lot. Like just basically over the years of my experience dealing with, you know, females. I'm so cutthroat now. It's like, bitch, you only got one time to try me. Because I, I have tried to refriend a friend before. Nope, never again. I only did that shit once. You had one time. And after that, I just never refrain anybody. So, 
Like for instance, I had this homegirl that me and her had been friends for years. I'm talking about it since like little girl before we had churn honey and i had to stay with, well i didn't have to stay with her but long story short i had to stay with her i really want to get y'all full story time on that so y'all just let me know but basically she opened her house up for me in the time of need you know and honey put me out too <laughs> and i don't know why like right now to this day I don't know why. We did like kind of rekindle. I end up basically moving away. You know, and I guess me moving away, that's when I really start seeing life differently. Because it was just me and my kids. No family. Like I was living in a whole nother city. Not close to no family, no friends, no nothing. But anywho, when I had moved away and when I came back home to visit or whatever, she ended up kind of, she ended up reaching out to me. Somehow, some way, we end up conversating. The girl who put me out, my friend who put me out, and we went to have lunch. And she was just like, we we went to lunch, sat down, ate whatever. Somehow, some way, the conversation came about or she wanted to bring it up. That's what it was. She wanted to bring up why she put me out, y'all. And I was like, I don't want to talk about that. Because I was going to get mad all over again. And I was like, I don't want to talk about that. And I just left it alone. And after that, I just never, like, reached back out to her. Like, every now and again, we'd conversate. You know through mutual people but I honestly just left that friendship dead like is there's no more coming back from that because <clears throat> I know damn well I ain't do nothing to you for you to put me out point blank period like at all like it wasn't nothing and it's how she did it y'all that's why I said I want to give y'all like full story time like back story time on that I had another friend that I let live with me and baby just was weird, girl, leaving pads. Like, y'all, I could just talk about, like, a bunch of shit with y'all, but I just got to know what y'all want to hear. Like, what do y'all want from me? Huh? What do y'all want from Jataria? What can Jataria offer y'all? What could Jay offer y'all? So, yeah. With that bit, see, like, I don't, like, after that, it's like, because I know I want to talk to y'all about it, but I don't know how I want to do it, if you get what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't know if I want to, like, do a sit down, let's talk about it with Jay type of podcast. I think that's what I really want to do. Me and she need to do that, yeah. I think that's what I want to do, just talk about friendships. And then, like, just talk about my friendship with Tasheen. Like, bitch, Tasheen is the realest. I have another friend named Pam. She the realest, too. I don't speak on Pam like that because we don't live in the same area anymore. And Pam been my friend since, like, 11, 12 years old. But I want y'all to get to know my friends, get to know my little circle, and just get to know overall, get to know. I just want to do something so simple. I'm going to do a little wing. Boom. Just like that. Eyes is done. Going with my wing. I just got this um this liquid eyeliner from um Nick from Ulta. Honey, the way she glides on.
Ace with this wine and shit. Don't nobody want to hear all of that, Ace. Well, but what TikTok you want to do? Me and Bae going to do TikToks today. So make sure y'all. I don't know. We can do whatever you want to do. I don't even be on TikTok, to be honest. So I don't know none of the little trends or nothing. All I know is what TikTok should me and they do is do my makeup or do my hair. That's all. Somebody reached out. Um, some hair company had reached out to me, want me to do some TikTok. I mean, want me to do a review on their hair on TikTok, but. I hope they didn't think I was gonna do it for free for a week. Baby, I don't even like hair. I don't even have no hair on my head now. <laughs> like, Basically. so why would I wanna work for free? All right, so basically, I just put some Casilla down. Some more Casilla. And now I'm putting my Spice Rum by Too Faced. All over my face. Natural, and these girls don't know how to be natural. Let them not be able to get their hair done. They can't step outside. I wear my a bitch is back. This is the look. This is the finished look. Now I'm gonna sit here and try to figure out what TikTok I want to do. I really don't be into TikToks, but I'm gonna try something with do something with Kita. I don't know, <clears throat> but this what y'all sister makeup is giving. Lately, I've been putting my little fake mold, so I got one right here. One right there. You can barely see this one because it's by my smile line. But the face is beat. And I use all two face. Well, I put um, my blush was from Juvia's place. But yeah. I like when I, I told y'all, when I put my makeup on, bitch, and I like. I be that girl. But anywho, I just came in to show y'all what my face was looking like. I'm gonna figure out what TikTok me and babe out to do. We might just put some clothes on and go for a walk or something. I don't know, cause it's cool. It is cold out. It's 153. It'd be nice to go somewhere. I'd like to see it get cute like most did. We still can. <laughs> cause you don't wanna cook. <laughs> If I cooked yesterday, so why why do I need to cook again? Listen, they fucked that food up. I took the girl a plate in the uh, office. I wonder what, well, I know she fucked it up. Indeed. I took her a plate of food, too. I was in the, uh, when I was in there working out, she was like, I'm going to go take my lunch break. Don't let nobody in. No problem. I said, I told her what it was. She said, I can smell it, like. And then I remember one time I had cooked black eyed peas for the first and I was like, Ooh. eat black eyed peas. She was like, yeah. So when I ended up seeing her, I was, she was like, honestly, I never ate black eyed peas, but them things was good. So yeah, she was like, I just told you, yeah, cause I wanted to try them. So that's what I'm trying to get into too. Like I honestly want to cook and it, I want something like gourmet. Cause the way I cook is like, I really take my time. Like, that's what I want to venture into doing. Like, I want to give hair a break and just venture into cooking because I really love cooking. And every time I cook, I never do the same thing. Everything always be different, like, every time I cook. But I really need to, like, start writing stuff down because that's how I am. I can't keep doing the same old things. Like, I always want to do something different. Like, 
literally I always want to do something different every time like if I go to this movie theater, I don't want to go to that movie theater no more because I done been there one too many times. That's how I, that's how bad it is. Like, yeah. I don't post my hair content like that because I do the same old shit. So, I don't want to post it. Same old shit. <sighs> Nobody never want to do nothing different. So, I just post me. When I do my makeup, the shoulder girlies like, bitch, I am rocking my hair. I love my hair. Like, I was so scared at first, but I'm so glad I ch <clears throat> I decided to cut my hair because, yeah. And then my edges was a little peach fuzz. My peach fuzz is up in here. My hair is definitely growing back. And I cannot wait to fully grow it, and then I'm going to bleach it again. And not leave it on for damn near an hour. That's what I'm going to do. But... I look like a basic... Like a bum ass nigga. Bro. Oh, shut up. All right, you guys. I'm dressed. This... Do y'all see the shape, though? See, baby, this waist trainer is doing what it needs to do. But, yeah, because I do have her on. This is what I got on. I'm gonna... I'm... Let me show y'all when I get downstairs what, how I fully look. So, I ain't got no lighting. The lighting sucks. Hold on. All right. So I have on. Oh, I didn't bring my bag. I need to see. Let me see. Do you need the bag? Okay, no. I was gonna see what percentage my pile was on. Oh, anywho, I have on this jacket from Fashion Nova. This graphic halter top tight oversized shirt from Sheen, but I tied it in the back. Jeans. Walmart, I guarantee you these are some Walmart jeans. Wands. Amazon. Yeah. Something simple. Simple and cute. And I got on my J-Lux waist snatcher. So, yeah. Just get into the beat, though. You can never have enough of that okay so we made it down <clears throat> to port orange where it's called the pavilion this is where the hibachi place we're gonna eat at but right now i'm sitting outside of marshall's and home goods like i wasn't not just in the store the other day but just to kill time until i guess the restaurant opens i'm gonna walk in here and hopefully i don't pick up nothing because i don't really need nothing but maybe I probably overlooked some things when I came the other day. Never know. So now I might want something, you know. You just never know when you walk in that store. But, yeah. Fix 
All right. I stole a bunch of meat. Me too. <laughs> you talk about me. Yeah, but the way you dug your hand in there. I dug two heads. These are nice minutes. I gotta take this waist trainer off. Yeah, I feel like a fucking stuffed turkey. Um. I had some sushi and some hibachi. That sushi was so good. Chicken and shrimp. This is not enough for Cheryl, though. Yes, it is. <laughs> Make it enough. <laughs> but, what's wrong with shit? This is not enough. They better get the contact. All right. Y'all, so why Kita just got... Why you be putting people in my business? <laughs> oh, you don't want them to know? <laughs> what about these people like do? So you're not good off of just getting the content? <laughs> it's not. I got you later. I enjoyed lunch. Yeah, that was cute. No, no, I had a little. Y'all, now I got a boyfriend. <laughs> I love him. That's my son in law. He do not play about Nana. That's the second day that he just done pulled up. Pulled up. Period. And that's how I be. Kita need to be. If you say that one more time, because it been plenty of times. How many times I done pulled that two times and put a blunt in the car? <laughs> Don't play with me. And you, I remember, I'll never forget that one time. You like... I love you. No, you don't. <laughs> Cause you just was snapping that same morning. And I'm like, let me ride out there. I'll put it in the car. You like, I do love you. <laughs> Bullshit. You know I love you. We have. You got your moments. Exactly. I'm human. Like, the fuck? But, um. So we finna do some. You gotta get, you gotta put up a good show tonight. Ooh. So you're going to do something alone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what you just said, girl? Nothing. Anywho. <laughs> Y'all should finna leave me. In a good way. It's for a good cause. I kept telling y'all, baby, it's... Um, and what, what if I it was like that other type of leave? We could still be cool friends. What the fuck we need to be friends for? You and he can't be friends? Why we need to be friends? So you wouldn't, Kitty, you wouldn't even let me be friends. Not even friends. You <laughs> wouldn't even let me do a... Let me tell y'all about Kita. And Kita don't so lie. Funny. You about to lie, too. No, you, you don't lie. You to lie. <laughs> so, that lies. the first stud I ever dated... Oh, my God. I wouldn't even really say dated. Like Man, I just not enough. So. I just play with her or whatever. Just... It don't matter. That's, Whatever. That's still something. Okay. But anywho, I guess the girl was trying to transition into being a film. And she wanted me to do her hair after umpteen years later. I swear. It was never really nothing like that. It was just like the first girl I literally played with. Huh. Jealous. Now, I, went, I wouldn't say jealous. Very territorial. And I was uh, like, like, basically, she didn't find that acceptable so if i can't be friends or associate with old people that i dealt with why do i need to associate myself with you if we not gonna be together we different oh, uh, <laughs> all right i'm back <laughs> yeah i had to get out of that waist trainer because remind y'all i just ate i have on a waist trainer and i got my waist beads on still and that shit just oh my gosh so uncomfortable but i'm on my way to take kita to go get i guess you gotta get like some painter's tape or something something because she leave out in the morning to go back over the road and usually i'd be sad but honestly i'm not even sad because i know it's it's for a good cause and honestly I feel like I think we need that even though we don't have no issues or no problems in our relationship you but think we do. wait what you me think we do. girl we don't got no damn issues don't say it. <laughs> but you know I think you know like that time apart you know to make you miss a mother like really miss a motherfucker so that's where I'm at with it mm -hmm. I really 
Washed it and dried it, and it still worked. Yes, Apple. They what you call it? What, what you call it, man? Indestructible. Yeah. So, 